stored or persistent cross-site scripting has two parts. In the first part, the hacker is injecting a script into a website that has a vulnerability allowing a script to be stored in a database. Once this happens, the script is stored in the database. This doesn't impact the database in any way. Databases can store JavaScript safely because they don't execute JavaScript. However, now we have a record in the database that has some JavaScript in it. If a user comes along to a website that pulls information from this database, this is where the problem can occur. Anytime an application is getting information from anywhere, including a database, it's supposed to be output encoding that data. If it grabs the record but doesn't output encode the information before placing it inside of a web page, cross-site scripting is possible. So now this unencoded JavaScript makes it back to the web browser where it executes. We can look at an example of this. If we go to Matilda and go to the add blog page, the information typed in here is stored in a database and then later displayed on the view blog page. So we'll add a simple demonstration cross-site script here. We saved the blog entry. And as it turns out, this also happens to be a reflected cross-site script because the add blog page also displays whatever is in there down below. And again, without doing any output encoding, at least in this security level. If we go to the view blogs page, this is a different page entirely, but it pulls those records from that same database table. So if we show all of the scripts, click on view blog entries, it'll pull back that record. And once the script makes it back to the page, it'll execute that script. So we can see the difference between the reflected cross-site script and the stored cross-site script is that the stored script stays active in the database and can be served to any page that grabs the record. Now, as long as the page does what it should and encodes the output, there won't be a problem. But if the page is missing that critical security control, the JavaScript can execute when it makes it back to the user's browser where the JavaScript engine will pick it up and run the code. 